What's up guys, today I'm going to be talking about the different grade levels in college and how different they are. So you got the freshman and then you got the sophomore which is one level up, then the junior and then the senior. It's just like high school. However, the freshman in college and the senior in college, their difference is a lot different than the freshman and senior in high school. Now, both are pretty big differences, and for me, juniors and sophomores, they don't really have that much of a difference. But the big difference comes with the freshman and senior. And you see it quite a lot if you've been to college and you talk to them. And I remember back in high school, my band teacher, he said something like, I can tell immediately someone's a senior or a freshman just by the way they walk and it's kind of true and it's very hard to tell if you haven't gone through college already i remember hearing that from them and being like i can't i couldn't tell but it's really just down to how they think how they carry themselves and how they talk and the biggest reason is just they're thinking about different stuff because you see, the freshman in college, what he's thinking about or she is just, oh, I'm here to have fun. I'm a new student. I have four years here. I have all the time in the world to think about what I'm going to major in, what I'm going to do. And college, I mean, it's such a fun place. I can do all this fun stuff. And that's what they do. A lot of their time is spent just going to social activities or just goofing off playing video games or, or something to burn their time and that's why a lot of them and a whole lot of them I'm talking a large percentage are undecided even halfway through their freshman year even towards the end of freshman year they're still undecided as as their major and those who have decided on a major don't really know if that's really what they want they've just chosen something and so they're going along life, la di da di da, and that's the majority of them. Now some may still, maybe like, have a goal set in their mind. They they might be like, yeah, I, I want to go to law school, and they're usually the people who have been pre-law since high school, and they have this entire goal set, and they're gonna follow it, and it's good for them. But for the most part, like even the, those guys, most of them are sort of absent-minded. They don't really know what they're doing. They're having a blast. And that's cool. I mean, that's how I was freshman year, more or less. But for me, I was really set on med school ever since high school. And so that's sort of how I went into college. But even though I was a bio, a bio major, and even though I wanted to go to med school and so forth, um, I was still sort of, I had the sort of like outlook where I wasn't, I wasn't really thinking about the future. I was just going along with it, not really caring, like a lot of people, whether you liked it or not. And that's 90% of freshmen. They're just going about it. Now, sophomore and junior, I would say they get more experience. They know they're older. They know they've, they've had a few years of experience. So a lot of this stuff doesn't seem new to them. And that's the biggest thing for me. A lot of them just, you, you can see that sort of been there, done that sort of deal in their eyes. And they're not really too excited about everything. It's not like the freshman where he's just like, oh yeah, I want to try this out. Oh, I want to go to parties. Oh, I want to make friends. Oh, this is cool I, I'm away from my parents I can do what I want it's like summer camp but extended and I can waste time doing whatever I want going to whatever clubs I want blah 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 and then you hit the senior now a senior is completely different the senior in college at least he's not concerned about this anymore and it's simply because he or she knows they're going to graduate and they got to find a job. They got to do something with their lives. This fantasy world is going to end very soon. And if they don't prepare, 
this group. And it's kind of sad because I see a lot of, like, I, I've met a lot of people, senior year, who were sort of like that. Um, they were party girls or they, they were just very social and lighthearted as freshmen. Then I meet them again as senior and as seniors and they're, they're sort of like, you know, in a sort of, I, I hate to say it, but like depressed sort of mind state. They're like, oh, I got to find a job. Oh, I'm, I'm finding internships. And you can see in their eyes and they're like, ah, oh, what am I going to do once I graduate? And the thing is like, the, the sort of, the sort of, way they talk to you is different like they they'll, they'll look at you differently too it's like freshman eh, didn't really care for me senior oh shoot this guy's this guy's a bio major what's he gonna do Ooh, he might be going to med school Ooh, i gotta i gotta like be nice to this guy oh he's he's going up in the world and i never really liked that sort of mindset i mean you should always be nice you should always treat someone the same regardless of what occupation they have and that's just how it is because a lot of these people like it or not they and it's, it's kind of sad but they don't get good jobs out of college and some of them end up working at Applebee's or you know that that store next to Sears yeah that that convenience store um but that's not always the case like some of them will find jobs but again their complete outlook is different and it sucks but it's so true and i'm not i'm definitely not looking at it from like a arrogant mindset um i know it's pretty hard myself i'm probably not going to med school or applying this year if you've seen my previous video on that you should know that. Um, I'm reconsidering things and for me, it's it's really just do I really want to spend eight to ten years after college doing something that I might not enjoy. Now, I've talked to a lot of people who are pursuing the same path as me just because that's the kind of people I interact with and meet uh, taking the classes I do take in college. And the difference is they love what they're doing. And for me, I mean, this was recently brought up in a video I watched um, by Dean Lazen, who does like um, science facts and stuff, as well as like self-improvement and a bunch of other stuff. He said something like, in terms of success, he would not view someone who has spent 10 years becoming a doctor or lawyer, but hates his job and is miserable as successful. So he has, he advised to take prestige out of it. Uh, don't do something just for the prestige if you're depressed about it. Um, but it's, it's obviously a lot to think about for me at the very least. I mean, with the economy as it is, sometimes you gotta find just enough money to get by. And so that's the biggest thing for me in terms of seniors versus freshmen in college in high school it's a little different like you see the same sort of thing but it's simply because the seniors they've been here a lot longer high school is the the period with the largest amount of growth spurts so you see a huge difference in physical physiology in the seniors and then the, the skinny short freshmen and that's the big difference between them but in college um like it or not that's like what you're like a lot of them i see also their parents definitely sat them down and talked about it and all of them have thought about it like each time i see a senior and a lot of times i would just bring up like what they're going to do after college and all of them like i've talked to dozens and dozens all of them have like an ex well not an extensive sort of plan but they they usually Ha like you can tell that they've thought about it and some of them have prepared for it because that's what's on their mind and that's what they think about so i hope you guys don't take this the wrong way and think oh oh these these people 
they're not respecting me as a freshman, but once I become a senior and they realize that they party too much and I study, ha 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 ha, then they'll respect me. Don't think of it like that. Um, I would just think of it like, like this. Study hard freshman year, always study, but at the same time, you're still going to have free time, even if you study really hard. Um, a lot of people just can't balance it because they don't really study. They play video games every like 20 minutes as a study break, or they just go on YouTube and watch videos or Instagram or Facebook and their efficiency ratio is very bad but quite honestly like even if you have a really hard major like engineering or for me biology or you're you're in the pre-med track as well so you're taking additional classes or you're double majoring a lot of these people myself included I definitely see that if they really wanted to they could have just cranked out their work uh, without taking study breaks and then they still would have had a lot of free time. But a lot of people don't do this. They slack off, they procrastinate, and then when they actually do get to homework and studying, they take tremendous procrastination breaks in between, and it's just an extended mess because their efficiency rate is so bad. And so I hope you guys just don't even consider looking at it in some sort of way where it's like an ego trip or a prestige trip or you know a battle of who's cooler or who has the higher social status that's not the point of this video the point is just I mean freshmen seniors are really different and um, yeah it's something to keep in mind if you're a freshman because then once you get to senior year you're prepared and you know what you're doing uh, but it is kind of sad, like it or not, a lot of people forget this, but college, it's not an eternal fantasy ride. When you're coming in freshman year, it seems like that. It seems like, oh, I got four years here, that's going to be an eternity, I can do whatever I want, and things go badly. I personally think for myself, and this is the most important message for this video, um, you can definitely study hard and have a vibrant social life as well all four years if you really wanted to now some instances you can't because you know you're double majoring or you're doing something ridiculously crazy but for the most part a lot of people I see even some double majors are just making excuses and they have plenty of free time um, but that's not always the case so I hope you guys don't get the wrong message uh, take prestige or people who like disrespect you out of this and if people do do that to you like let's say you're a freshman you're just coming into college and let's say uh, you get a lot of disrespect from people who are like really they're taking really easy majors like communications or something really easy and they're disrespecting you don't think oh once I become a senior and then they realize how crappy of a major they have and they don't get a job then they'll respect me don't don't think that personally those people are just they're just weak of mind you don't want to hang out with them anyways there's plenty of good-minded people out there of uh, varying social statuses varying personalities um, they can be buff they can be the party dude they can be uh, the nerdy type of guy who studies that's all want to hang out with you or will respect you or will be nice to you and it's really not down to categorizing them like oh this guy's disrespecting me because he's taking an easy major and he's a freshman don't think like that um, but that's all I gotta say freshmen and seniors huge difference that's just how it is uh, they just think differently and they're a lot more mature
and regardless of if you're a freshman, sophomore, junior, or senior, always just realize that there's going to be people who are haters, and then there's going to be those who are nice to you, whether you whether it's a freshman or a senior, you're gonna find nice people, and that's all I gotta say. Like, favorite, comment, and subscribe. I hope you guys like this. This was a sort of first take video, um, and yeah, I did the whole thing from start to finish without any cuts. And let me know what you guys think about this. Otherwise, um, I might just go back to the sort of cutting and editing sort of thing I usually do, which makes the videos a lot shorter, but there's they're a lot more succinct. But at the same time, you lose that sort of personal touch because everything is pre-planned and pre-arranged. But at the same time, it's a lot cleaner and nicer, and I'm not restating things or trying to organize my thoughts as I talk. So that's all I got to say. Like, favorite, comment, and subscribe. Peace.